Praised be Jesus and Mary. Just a, a, a word or two about uh, today's saint that all Franciscans around the world commemorate, Saint Veronica Giuliani. She was born in 1660 in uh, central Italy, not far from Città di Castello. And in 1687, she entered a, um, a convent, a monastery of, of poor Clares in that city, in Città di Castello, where she spent the rest of her life uh, growing in love of God, growing in, in union with God until her death in 1727. Although she's relatively unknown, Pope Gregory the 16th, after her death, when she was being raised to the honors of, of, of sainthood, called her actually the greatest mystic in the history of, of the church because of the many mystical gifts that she received from God as a reward for her great love for him. Among these gifts were uh, the stigmata which she bore in, in her body. Another characteristic of uh, St. Veronica's life that uh, was very much coupled with her mysticism was, was a great mortification, a life of great penance. So united was she with God that she, see, that she sought to detach herself from everything in this world. And she teaches us this, uh, this necessity of, of penance and mortification for a, a simple reason. Not that... Not that giving up, uh, well, when we mortify ourselves, when we do penance, we, we give up certain things. Not because they are evil and we see the world as evil, but precisely because they're good, but not good enough. They're good, but they're to be sacrificed for something better. And we as Christians, we are... For the sake of uh, the love of God, we, are, we should be willing to, to sacrifice the lesser things for the greater, those things that impede us from loving God with our whole heart. We should be willing to give up and to renounce so that we might freely give ourselves to God wholly and to keep that, that order in life that he wants us to have. Uh, God wants us to, to have order in our lives, and this order can be uh, oversimplified into, into three components. Uh, faith, the things revealed by God should always illumine and, and guide our, our reason, our minds. Then our minds, illumined and guided by faith, should rule and, and then guide our senses, our emotions, our feelings. If we do this, we have reason obeying faith and senses obeying reason. Everything's in order and and when things are in order, when things are in the right place, we have, we have peace. Peace with God and peace with ourselves and peace with, with our neighbor. But to keep this order, it's necessary to mortify certain disordered desires, disordered, disordered inclinations. And we do that by means of mortification, by means of penance, by imitating the saints, by invoking their intercession on our behalf so that we might be able to do that and that we might be faithful in doing it. And in so doing, that we might possess God and we might let go of anything that might be an obstacle to that union with him. Praised be Jesus and Mary.